Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another E video. I do apologize for my voice. I am literally only a week, but I wanted to jump on, make a video. Um, before we jump into the video, there's some things that I want to talk about. So I just want to say thank you so much for everyone because very recently we hit the 500 subscriber mark. And to be honest, I never seen this going above maybe five um i thought that i was going to put out some videos here and there of my setup maybe i'll get a few comments saying oh i like the look of that or that's actually a good idea or i wouldn't do that um i would do this instead that's that was my thinking of what was going to happen um so to see my videos getting so many views and doing so well and comments are just coming in left right and center that you know on certain videos it is insanely hard to keep up with um, but you know I do my best um, the fact that this community has grown to the point where you know people are messaging me in game people are getting in touch with me in game um, the discord has taken off more than I thought that it was ever going to um, and it's insane you know we have people in chatting away sharing fits um, getting together and actually doing stuff together which is it, it's insane i didn't think that it would ever happen so thank you so much for that that is absolutely amazing um even you know very recently I, we were out and we were doing something that i don't want to talk too much about because i'll be making a video on um but very recently we were out doing some stuff and you know we we're out killing people and you know well at least attempting to um and there was this guy that i was about to try to lock up and it ended up he was able to warp away just in time just in time because as soon as my lock was about to hit him um my warp scrambler was about to hit him and if i if i had got that he was dead basically he was in a uh explorer ship in no or low sec and yeah it was not going to end well for him but i just want to say because he ended up uh sending me a message and he was like are you a are you a parrot too and i went no no to be honest i'm just passing through um and he's like oh okay and he was like do you have a youtube channel and i went i do and he goes because i know a youtube channel called expedition and i was like yep that's me so you know there's even people that are noticing me in game now um and sending me messages which is absolutely fantastic so from the bottom of my heart thank you all so much with that being said, on to the video. So, I put out a video very, very recently about how things don't always go according to plan. And, you know, it started off with um, me and Austin trying to get some PvP done. And, you know, I ended up not going well. Um, and, you know, it's to be expected. It really is. You know, whenever you make a plan in EVE, basically just expect it to go wrong which we did and you know it ended up that evening in general was a very enjoyable evening in eve online um so a while after that a few days after that i think it was uh me and austin got together again and we're like right what are we going to do and we decided on some pvp so roman pvp and instead of going into wormholes uh what we decided was what we will do is we'll just find a system low sack null sack uh very close to cheetah you know within a certain amount of jumps we'll go there we'll do we'll see what we can get done all was well all was good jump through a gate and we got bubbled and <laughs> subsequently destroyed um very very quickly and i mean very quickly uh the, the, yeah it did not end well so obviously that didn't go according to plan um but obviously you can tell by the video title you know how to lose 215 million in 10 minutes um obviously that's not what we are going to be talking about today because quite frankly that was not the 250 million that i was talking about uh so you know after our ships got destroyed and we were back at Jita, it was it was i got this stage where i was like right what are we going to do here maybe wormhole pvp maybe maybe because i have been really enjoying the aspect of being able to roam through a wormhole and then go from that wormhole and try to find 
players maybe if that's people exploring people out mining doing something and maybe trying to get the jump in on them that is what i have been enjoying recently i've still been doing my ice mining during working hours um but for you know whenever i've actually got free time it's you know i'm looking for more holes i'm looking for people seeing what i can find it's it's slow business trying to find people in wormholes. Some people can be very very sneaky, which you know good for them, good job. Uh, so back to drum board, went to Jita, got um, got my ships back, went back up to Halema where we, you know, I know wormhole spawn quite regularly. So it was back up there and scanned down a wormhole and you know went into the wormhole was looking for you know people but what i was doing in the meantime was scanning down all the the cosmic sigs scan one down and it was gas and i was like i just said the Austin. i was like john just go gas mining and of course the answer was yes so i was doing some gas mining me and him were doing some gas mining it was all good all good um 20 minutes later the rats show up as expected i warp out and i go back to station i get Makila come back in and I'm clearing out rats. Now, all the while this is going on, I am speaking with um, another person who is in the Discord, but has also, you know, appeared up in some videos. I've spoke about him as well, Sakin, right? He was telling me about, you know, how much money he was making in a wormhole that, that he had moved into. Um, it was actually in the the last video that uh, I actually helped him move in. I didn't really have a move in, you know, I just sat there, you know, so that someone would see a hurricane and maybe, just maybe pass by um, and leave the orcas alone. But I was talking to him and he was letting me know how the, you know, how the, his wormhole life was going and he was telling me about how um, he's making so much money, especially with syndicate scoops for gas. And I was like, hmm, interesting. And I know that they're pretty expensive, and I was like, they're pretty pricey. And he was like, yeah, they are, but, you know, double the yield. And as soon as he said that, I was like, oh, double the yield? I like it. I like it a lot. That really piqued my interest because, you know, the the fact, the thing about wormhole gas mining is pretty much it can get very boring. So the amount that you can limit how much time you're out there while still increasing your yield is obviously going to be a benefit not just because it's born but also at the same time the little or the least amount of time that you're in a gas site in a wormhole the safer you're going to be even if that is jumping to safe points or something like that um so it definitely piqued my interest and while you know i was clearing out these rats i was i was like hmm maybe i should go with double yield maybe i should just pull the trigger because eventually you know within what maybe maybe four or five gas sites these scoops will pay for themselves so i was like okay and you know what i have the disposable isk to turn around and go right we'll drop 250 million on to syndicate gas scoops former prospect that was all well and good so went to Jita, got them fitted and made my way back to Halema. Now I think it's important to point out and you'll see in the videos as well my headset was dead and I just couldn't be arsed charging it so me and Austin were in fleet chat and not actually voice chat which probably should have been but nonetheless that's what we've done and I ended up back into the wormhole and back to the gas site, started doing my mining, me and him sitting chatting away. I was doing other things, looking at chip fits and everything like that there. Um, pretty sure I give him the ability to warp us away, um, just in case I needed to step away for a second or what is it. Um, and, you know, everything was going well, everything was going good. You know, we're about five minutes in um, to the wormhole gas mining after clearing out the rats and, you know, getting the, the syndicate scoops and, you know, just constantly spamming V and next thing you know probes appear on the D scan I was like right okay and then a nice wee saber appeared on D scan and I was like nope not having any of this so I was like right and I, I sent to him I was like saber let's go we're leaving 
and as I started our warping, the saber had warped into the gas out and I was like, shit, this is going to be close. And he didn't get us, so I warped away. Austin warped away. I made sure that he got away as well. And he was like, yeah, I'm away. I was like, right, okay, okay, good, good. That's one. And I'm not going to lie, I got cocky. I did. I got so cocky, so fast. It is ridiculous. Like, I was warping away, and as soon as it says that I was warping, I was like, you fucking kidding me? I was like, that saber must be raging. And I got so cocky, so fast. I just, mm. I said, can't catch me. I'm too quick for you. I'm too amazing. I'm too quick. You know, this is all things that was running through my head. And as we're warping towards the wormhole, I seen it. I was like, oh, shit. The fucking bubble, the wormhole. And we were in warp. We couldn't do anything about it. We were warping into this bubble. And he knew that we were warping into this bubble because as soon as we landed at that bubble, he was behind us. And I was like, oh, no. I tried to cloak up couldn't tried to get away and um, was at the very very edge of the bubble and he spawned a new one and I was like you mother mm, mm, no 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 in the end he, he got us and um, that was 10 minutes after band 2 syndicate scoops for what about 250 million fit into the ship ship gone uh, total ship value lost on the kill record was like 323 million or something like that um, the the good thing is in the saving grace is that the majority of the gas that I mined that night was dropped off at the station whenever I went to get my gila to clear out the rats that is one saving grace the other saving grace is those syndicate scoops were lost within 10 minutes of being fitted to the ship which um do you know what? At at the end of the day, I I wasn't even I wasn't annoyed. Um, you know I think for two very main reasons. One is the obvious: you're in a wormhole. You know you can't expect to survive every single time you go into a wormhole. Um, especially if you're going as a day tripper in a ship that might be fast and is hard to catch, like a prospect. But prospects are paper thin they're not exactly hard to kill um so you know you can't win them all i wasn't i wasn't annoyed i was and that's reason number one number two it genuinely was such a smart play for him to do that that i i couldn't even be annoyed because that was to put it it bluntly that was a genius move he knew that we were in that gas site okay on D-Scan, he's seen a venture and a prospect. You know, fine rightly, a venture and a prospect in a wormhole is not going to be at a, I know, say for talk's sake, an ore site. You know that's not going to be the case. You know if there's a gas site that you've scanned down and then you see a prospect and a venture on D-Scan, you know exactly they are going to be in, you know, they're going to be in that gas site. So if you fired a few combat probes on that gas site at say 1AU, you're pretty much going to scan us down instantly. And then, no one, but obviously that he, well, he couldn't have known for 100% that we were going to go to that wormhole. It would make sense because it led to Isaac's base, 100%. Maybe that's what his thinking was. Um, so... Yeah, no, it was genuinely was a great play because he knew to bubble the wormhole first, then warp in on us, and then follow us back because he knew that we were going to land in that bubble, and as soon as we landed in that bubble, there was nothing that we can do. He took a venture, and he took a prospect, and do you know what? Not going to lie, after it was all said and done, on my way back, so obviously, you know, my home base right now is set for Cheetah, so on the way back, or whenever I spawn back in, um... I was I bought a new prospect because I was like this is a this is a money making thing so it's time to, to sink another 300 odd million uh, because it had the gas scoops in it again and on the way back I was like I'm going to message him because I do believe that if you get a good kill on someone say well done you know and that was a genuinely nice fucking play by him 
Um, so I ended up sending them a message and I can't remember what the message exactly went like but it was a case of oh Richie rich boy and I was like oh here we go and he's like syndicate scoops he got both of them he got both of those scoops I was like fuck's sake raging but nonetheless it was a great play and if you're the person that done that and you see this fucking well done that was a really good play um in hindsight, you know, I had safe spots over that wormhole. In hindsight, really should have jumped to there. Um, and I do believe that the next time that I do um, encounter something like that, because it is only a matter of time, because I do so much gas mining in wormholes, it is only a matter of time, I do believe that I will warp to, um, that I will warp to save points instead because obviously stuff like that can happen but he doesn't know where I've got my save points so that's obviously a lot safer hence why it's called a save point because it's <laughs> very safe well safe as you can be in a wormhole um, and then I could cloak up and I could just kind of wait it out to be honest um, Austin isn't exactly as fortunate because he's an adventure um, so he can't exactly warp and cloak so that's that uh, but yeah that is the story of how I lost 250 million in 10 minutes. Um, yeah, that's it. Was fun. It was fun. It's a good night. It's a good night. It actually was. It was a very enjoyable night. Um, you know, and it just seems to be that every night that you know some of us on the Discord servers get get together. Obviously, we end up having fun. Which the next one, the next video that I'm going to talk about is already being recorded and stuff. It is. It, it's going to be fun too. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.